thank you everybody at home for staying with us here at KCN News at 10. Now before the break, Chase, we were talking a little bit about, about that potential for some rain. Can you kind of expound upon that for us? Well, we're watching those rain showers quickly make their way in only because we're watching the air mass that's currently over the Concho Valley and then that's what's coming in from the west or what's coming over the Rocky Mountains and from the area of Mexico and then we're seeing that on those time lapses. Those high clouds make their way in. You see those low clouds making their way and some of that rain still. See how low those clouds are? You can see them still catching some of the light coming up from San Angelo. So rain showers off to the north off to the east of us and then that's going to pursue throughout the rest of the night and into tomorrow where we're going to see a lot of those thunderstorms because we've had a lot of that moist air hanging out over our region for the last couple of days if you noticed a lot of the sunny or weather that's been hanging out over the great lakes region though we are seeing a lot of that snow still associated with that they're seeing up to 32 inches of snow and as that west coast storm makes its way on shore you're starting to see a lot more snow and rain associated with that storm as well and that's going to be affecting us further on down the line and then when we go down over to the concho valley and start talking about some of that rain nathan see you can see it hanging off off to the east making its way over us when we talk about that warm air coming over the rockies into our area so you can see a lot of those high clouds still showing up on radar spotty shower here and there nathan you can see it making its way over over san angelo and still off into our eastern counties get a good look at that high res radar though you can really see those storms really starting to show up there a couple of severe weather warnings making their way in from the west going to be keeping our eye on that as it tracks east see if it's going to impact us in any other way then a couple of isolated thunderstorms making their way in through the early morning you'll see later on that in the future forecast how some of those rain showers are going to be on and off at a certain time period throughout the day you can see that severe outlook there for thursday still hanging off to the west of us and that's going to be making our way into our area tomorrow like we said we're going to be keeping our eye on it but right now temperatures across the board we are seeing san angelo hanging on to the 80s everyone's still down in the 70s but those temperatures not going to drop too much more than that folks tonight things are going to be sitting around the 60s tonight with some of that cloud cover may hold on to some of that heat temperatures across the concho valley you can kind of see more of a uniform temperature spread across there everyone hanging on to those lower 80s upper 70s not too much colder you're gonna see it get down to about the 60s tonight so we're gonna see a lot of that southerly wind still bringing in a lot of those ingredients that we're gonna need necessary for a lot of that severe weather and with a lot of that moisture that we're talking about in the air when that cold air makes its way through the area that's when we're gonna start to see a lot of these these winds gonna be powering a lot of those stronger updrafts which can push a lot of that moisture into the air where we are gonna be talking about potentially sizable hail couple of inches in diameter so we can see and I want you to keep your eye on the time where we're going to see those rain showers starting tonight. Then again, Thursday, 6 p.m. in the afternoon, going to see those thunderstorms kind of have a lot more potential to kick off and make their way east. And then by Friday morning, we're not really seeing anything. But by Friday afternoon, Saturday afternoon at 7, Sunday afternoon at 7, you're going to start seeing those a.m. p.m. showers that we're talking about as those temperatures stay in the 90s and the 60s all the way through this week and even into next week. So tonight, see, we're seeing those temperatures stay down in the 60s. We would say a 30% chance of rain but we already know it is raining so we have southerly winds still giving us a lot of those ingredients we're going to need throughout the rest of the night to maintain those isolated rain showers and then tomorrow it's still going to be lingering around because that wind is still going to be producing a lot of those things that we need necessary as we talk about that west coast storm making its way over our area for the potential for severe weather in parts of eastern texas and parts of the south as well so get a good recap so tomorrow we are looking at temperatures staying down and up in the upper 80s and then through friday saturday we're going to start seeing those temperatures jump up into the 90s, but the lows are going to be staying in the 60s. And then we make our way into the next week, and we are going to see those temperatures still staying in the 90s with those lows hanging out in the 60s. We'll have more after KSAN News at 10 after the break.